Hi, this is Yvonne Prien, and I want to share with you how I created an infographic with Microsoft Publisher. This is my infographic that I created to show you how to use Christmas celebrations to grow your church. Now, infographics have become very, very popular. Some writers have even said, actually, they've been around since the days of the cave paintings, but you see them everywhere today. Now, I'm going to first go through a very quick overview of my inspiration and my resources for them. Then I will show you each of the things that I'm talking about step by step. First of all, what got me started on doing my own, there was an article in Entrepreneur Magazine, and it had three different kinds of infographic creating software that you could use. Well, I tried them, and I'll show them to you, but I didn't like any of them. They were too slow, or they just um, they just took too long, just didn't do a thing for me. And I was very frustrated, though, because I wanted to use an infographic to illustrate all the communications you need to do for Christmas. But this this obviously wasn't going to work for me. So then what I decided to do is I'll try Microsoft Publisher. I use it for everything else. Why not try it for this? I loved it. It's easier, it's faster, and you can just print it up as a graphic. The statistics that I use for it came from Statistica. The colored bar that I used in it came from Paint.net and the graphics from Presenter Media. So let me show you each of the things that I just talked Okay, here is the article in Entrepreneur Magazine, and I have the URL on, I'll, I'll actually put it on some notes that go along with this, but here they have three infographic tools, and actually I'm not going to time to show them to you right now. You can go to the article and look at them, but in all honesty, I found them very frustrating. I might do another video to actually show them to you, but they weren't really that easy to use. The only one that really worked well was Pictochart, and with that, you had to pay $29 a month to use it, and I just thought, yeah, this just isn't worth it. So, um, after fussing and fighting and trying different things, that's when I decided I'm just going to do it with Publisher. I'll show that to you in just a minute, but let me first show you some of the resources that I got together before I actually put together the infographic. The first one is, this is really a neat site, it's Statistica, and they do have a basic service that is free and then you can pay $49 a month if you need all sorts of fancy things. I found the free one was just great. Let me show you what I use. First I typed in church attendance and lo and behold right here and as you can see this one is free so I clicked on it and church attendance. Now this was very interesting to me. 29% um, of people in this statistical study attended church synagogue a religious service once a month. And I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Now, I'll show you the contrasting chart that I used, but what's great about this is when I decided that I wanted to use it, all I had to do was click on this and you were able to download it as a JPEG. Very, very easy to do. So I did that, but then what made me decide to use it is I also thought, let's just see what statistics they have about Christmas. And most of the things had to do with spending, And but then I noticed this particular one, Christmas traditions in the U.S. Now, do forgive me. I know I have many viewers from lots of different countries, but I think this is probably a, a similar numbers are in, in many places. As you go through this, the thing that I found very, very interesting is that, um, oh dear, and I realized I put the wrong number on my chart. Oh, that's close enough. A number of recipients who attended at least one religious service on Christmas Eve or Christian, Christmas Day is 65%. And I thought, isn't that interesting? Only 29% come during the regular time of year, you know, just as, but over 60% are there for Christmas. Well, this is right here a wonderful reason that we need to work harder on our Christmas communications to get more people to come back after the Christmas visit. 
So I use these two charts from Statistica. One other resource that I used is Presenter Media. Now this does cost, it's $49 a year. As you can see, my account is expiring in 16 days. Um, but it really, it's, it's one of the few artwork sites that I pay for, but I feel that it's really worth it. It gives you professional quality graphics that you just don't get anywhere else. And let me show you, I uh, typed in clip art and then Christmas. And as I scroll through it, I found that there were a number of images of this Santa. And I thought, you know, I could really use something like that throughout a presentation. So I downloaded a number of these images. I downloaded my chart. Okay, here we are in Microsoft Publisher. And what I did, first of all, on the page size, what I actually did, if you'll notice when it says change page size, I actually changed it to pixels and you see I made it 575 pixels wide. I know that my website where I'm going to put this is 600 pixels wide and I wanted to make it just a little bit narrower so it would fit. As to the length I had no idea. I started out I think at around 3,000 pixels in length and I just kept increasing it as I realized I needed more material. And then all I did is just started putting things in. Now one thing that you do need to do is you do need to make sure that your print is all actually word art. The reason you need to do that is that makes it a nice clean crisp graphic. If you just have it be a typeface it comes out a little bit more jaggy and it doesn't work as well. So that's that's one thing that you need to do. And then just put things in there. You see I just put stuff in there. You can move it around. As you can see, here's the chart. I actually made the bar a red color in paint.net. You can just open it up in there, make it red. This is just one of those graphics from Presenter Media. Let me just move it over. See, it's just a little graphic. And then just put them right there. And what I did is I just talked through the process. How do churches turn those holiday visitors into regular attenders? Then the answer, well, here's how you do it. You need communications before, during, and after your Christmas events. And everybody in the church needs to be part of it. Leaders share the vision. Church communicators create the materials. The congregation prays, invites, and welcomes. And then here's what you need. This banner was also from Presenter Media. Just added the text in there. Then these are just JPEG images that I saved of the different communications, the exact same ones that I put on the website. And then you can just go through the different kinds of things and, um, you know, connection cards, a little bit extra on why and how to use them, the gospel presentation that you give out, being sure to invite them back. And when you've done all this, you will really have a Merry Christmas. And then the things are available from Effective Church Communications. I then simply saved it as a JPEG and at 96% resolution. All you have to do, if you haven't saved anything in Publisher as a graphic before, you just go up to File, Save As. And a lot of people never look past... The first thing to see there are all these things that you can save it, all these ways you can save it. And I just saved it as a JPEG. And then because it's for the web, 96 DPI, OK, save. And that's all there is to that. Put it up on the website and you have your infographic. And here you can see the infographic on the website. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Let me know if it is. and. Try creating some infographics with Microsoft Publisher. It's really a fun way to do it. Once again, if you want to see the whole infographic and, of course, lots more about creating effective church communications, plus all of the communications about Christmas that are in the infographic, which is really why I created it, I want you to look at those, to download them for your church, to use them, and to really make this Christmas season a time that you connect people with your church and with Jesus. To do that, go to www.effectivechurchcom.com and may the Lord greatly bless you as you serve Him today in church communications.